So, hi, I'm going to read the third chapter of my, one of my favourite books, Spy Hill School Dinners. And again, if you have not seen the other two, the other first two, then the author is Pam Pamela Butcher. Hello, yes, leg. On Monday, Miss Jones said that Mr. Murphy, that's the head teacher, would be <coughs> would be bringing Matilda to our class at seven a.m. And that I would sit with her, and that I would be in charge of loads of stuff like speaking to her and taking her for lunch and taking her to the toilet. <coughs> Miss Jones said that I was also in charge of telling Matilda all about our Antarctica project and about how we were learning <coughs> about all the animals that live in Antarctica and about the Antarctica explorers and about how the weather in Antarctica is so severe You'd probably die instantly if one of your fell off by mistake. I was really excited to be the one picked to be in charge of Matilda, and I was well prepared because I made Dad take me to Wesley so I could get an extra pencil case, extra pencils, and a new glitter pen so that I could share with Matilda if she didn't have any new school stuff yet. And I polished, I polished my good school shoes. I don't even iron my socks and then I can look professional because, like Maisie said, I'm practically a teacher. Then, and before I went to bed, I drew a picture of what I thought Matilda would look like and I gave her dark hair and blue eyes and a green jumper with a snail in it and then I put the drawing in my pencil case. So anyway, I kept looking at the clock to see if it was 10 a.m. yet. I think the clock must have been needing new batteries because it's taken ages to get to 10 o'clock. I was just about to ask Miss Jones if she could fix it when Mr. Murphy appeared at the door and a really tall girl. I didn't realise it was Matilda at first because the, door, because the girl was so tall, I thought maybe she was one of the perfects or something. But then Mr. Murphy said, Good morning. Mr. Murphy said, <coughs> Good morning, 4J. This is Matilde. They were shocked because Matilde was really tall and she had short blonde hair and didn't look like, didn't look anything like the picture I had drawn. Then, then, then everyone said, Welcome, Matilde. Really slowly. Like, Miss Jones has made us practice so that we said Matilda's name right. Miss Jones shook Matilda's hand and then, and then she waited me to come up to the front. But then Mr. Miffy looked at me funny. But then Mr. Miffy looked at me funny. And then he said something to Miss Jones. Yeah, and then he said something to Miss Jones, but, but Miss Jones just smiled and told me to introduce myself. But I forgot it. I had to introduce myself with friends, so I just said, Hi, I'm Izzy. And shook her hand like Miss Jones had done because I didn't really know what else to do. Then Mr. Murphy looked at me funny again. <laughs> so I just smiled at him like Miss Jones had had. Even though I'm not really actually speaking to the head teacher at this point. But, um, but I'll, but I'll tell you all about that later. Then when Mr. Murphy... Then when Mr. Murphy went away, Miss Jo started to do the lesson really slowly so that Matilda would understand. And so 
sometimes she tried to use the French words. And sometimes she forgot what they were, and then she had to use the French dictionary. But I couldn't really pay attention to what Mr. Stuart was saying to us. Because I was thinking about... What, because I was still thinking about how tall Matilda was, and how short the hair was, and how she didn't look anything like I thought she would. And then I looked at Matilda's hair and saw that she had long fingernails with purple nail varnish on them. We are not allowed nail varnish in our school. Not since we make cakes in school. Cakes here, yeah, would you do the music nails and stuck them on with Prince Nick? Then one of them had fallen off in the cake mix. But Jodie didn't know, so she just kept stirring and making the cakes. And then Lindsay, pa but then Lindsay, Perry's mum. But then Lindsay, but then Lindsay, Perry's mum, had a blue fingernail in her. And the sponge said that she could have choked to death. That's when nail varnish and nails. And cake sales got banned from our school. And we all get a lot of home about it. And we'll clip it now, we'll clip my nails every Sunday night. Sometimes she does our cats too. And she usually uses the same clippers. Which I don't think is very hygienic. And it's probably the reason I got tonsillitis. So I got out my new glitter pen and wrote a list in the back of my notebook and it said Things to tell Matilda, we are not allowed nails or nail varnish or cakes. And then I saw that Matilda had tan tights on. We are not allowed tan tights. We are only allowed black or grey or red or white. And sometimes bare leg, but only for summer, but never tan tights. But I don't really know why, so I added that to the list too. Then I tried to pay attention to what Miss Jones was saying. At break time, I said to Matilda, do you want to see the den? But then Matilda didn't say anything back, so, so I just took her. When we, when we got there, Jodie and Zach, amazing we were already there. And Zachary pretended to put the kettle on and said that he was going to make us all a cup of tea. Zach likes making the tea even though we're not allowed to boil the kettle. And there are only three cups now because that broke one. But none of us really likes tea anyway, so we usually just hold the cups and pretend we do. So we gave Matilda a cup of cold tea but she just stared at it and didn't say anything so I said Matilda do you like do you like the dad and we all looked at her to see what she was saying but she didn't say anything then she said are you okay and then she said it, and she said it really silly and really loud but Matilda still didn't say anything then Daisy said that maybe we needed to use the French words But none of us could really remember. But none of us could really remember any French words except for bonjour, except for bonjour, which means hello, and oui, which means yes, and jean, which means let. So we said all of those words, but that just made the tilt stare at us even more. And then Maisie said that Matilda looked a bit scared. She was excited that we should just point to the banner that we made for her and smile a lot, so we did. But then Matilda looked even more scared. So we stopped smiling and took her back to Miss Jones. I explained to Miss Jones about how there was something wrong with Matilda. Because she wouldn't speak any English words, and not even any French words. Then, then when we what? Then, then when we watched, then we watched while Miss Jones tried to get the to speak, but she wouldn't. 
Not even when Miss Jones said a full sentence to her in French. She all just stared at her like she had said all this. Miss Jones told Matilda that it was okay if she didn't want to speak right now. So she told us that Matilda was probably just shy and could, that we should be patient with her. But like Mum says, I find it very hard to be patient. Like, the time will make the Winnie the Pooh chocolate roll with some cakes out. Four cakes got bad and I couldn't, and I couldn't wait. For them to set and go hard, so I could have one. So I kept taking them out of the fridge and drinking them out of the bowls. And then when Mum went to get me in the morning, none of the Winnie the Pooh's, Winnie the Pooh's had any legs. And Eeyore didn't have a head. And then Mum said, You might as well just eat them now. I doubt, I doubt anyone, I doubt anyone will pay for these poor souls. So I did, but it didn't taste as good as when you can drink them. So anyway, I made sure I was patient with myself. And so we only had to twice about his legs, Paris and the frog's legs, and the snakes. And then when she didn't ask the, I just, I asked her only two more times. But she still didn't answer, so I gave up. Because I was starting to think that maybe Miss Jones had got it wrong and maybe that Matilda couldn't speak any English words. And that maybe she couldn't even speak any French words either. Or that maybe she was the wrong Matilda and there was another Matilda. Who was shorter, with dark hair and blue eyes, who'd been taken to the wrong school by mistake. And I was and I was just about to explain all of this to Miss Jones when the bell went and it was time for lunch. So that's the end of the third chapter. I hope you liked it and please comment, please subscribe and please comment below for what book you'd like me to read next. Thanks. Bye.